TV legend Colin Salmon unveils the perilous path for George Knight in EastEnders as self-harm takes a dangerous turn. Struggling with his father's dark past, George's descent into underground boxing as a coping mechanism risks his life. Amidst family turmoil, a looming trial, and a mother's illness, his struggles deepen. The fear of George Knight's death in the EastEnders self-harm drama is revealed by TV veteran Colin Salmon. Actor Colin Salmon has now disclosed a perilous path ahead for George Knight, who has had an extremely challenging 2024 on EastEnders thus far. George has learned a lot about his adopted parents over the past three months, the most startling of which being that dad Eddie Knight killed his biological father. Now that the truth is out, George has turned to some risky coping techniques that, as Colin has disclosed, could put him in danger of dying. It has already been shown to viewers that George has returned home with blood on his knuckles, and it will soon be revealed that he has turned to underground boxing as a way to self-harm. I believe it's just a form of self-harm if that's how you interpret it. Colin clarified, he needs to feel something, and instead of blowing up, he sort of implodes. Since he claims to only use violence in the ring, it might have been far worse in certain ways. He is obviously endangering his life, but this is all he has ever known, regrettably, the route to confidence in the ring is a perilous one. When George chooses to testify against Eddie at his trial, things go worse for him since his father threatens him horribly. Eddie has been struggling, and in an attempt to protect them, he has been pushing away his daughters Anna and Gina Knight, fiancé Elaine Peacock, and ex-wife Cindy Beale. This is going to continue while Eddie is on trial. He knows what's in the grenade and that it's too much, yet he is falling on it nevertheless since he knows what it could do to his loved ones. Sadly, I believe he confuses melancholy for guilt, and I believe that having Eddie as a role model hasn't enabled him to develop into a fully realized human being, though I believe it's a really manly thing to do, he is teaching and learning a great deal from his daughters. The fact that he and Phil are both alpha males who can communicate honestly makes me believe that their connection is also beneficial. Gloria becomes unwell at the conclusion of the week, which makes everything even worse. Will George be able to share his feelings with his family or will he have to suffer in silence? Spoilers for EastEnders, Broken Gloria, George's mother, is exiled, but tragedy strikes. In forthcoming scenes on EastEnders, George Knight will experience further heartbreak as adoptive mother Gloria struggles to keep her distance from her murdering husband Eddie. Eddie is on trial right now for the racial murder of Henry, George's biological father, 40 years ago. Recently, Henry's body was recovered from a canal while packed in a suitcase. Eddie and Gloria hinted that they intended to make amends with their soon when they initially moved into the Queen Vic at the beginning of the year, but it eventually turned out that their intentions were darker than first believed. George was shocked to hear that he was actually adopted from West Africa as part of a baby farming arrangement. George had long yearned to understand the truth about his ancestry, having initially thought himself to be Jamaican. Henry died because Gloria had made Eddie swear to do whatever it needed to keep their kid when his parents came back to take him home. George's view of his early years has been completely destroyed by the information, and he now wonders if he would have been content with his real family. He contemplated lying or revealing the true nature of his father, who is a despicable person, as he made his way to the courtroom to provide a character reference. In upcoming scenes, Gloria will provide the CPS with fresh information regarding Eddie, and they will contact George ahead of the trial to let him know. She urges him to testify when they get to the Vic, but when he hears her talking to his dad on the phone, he becomes enraged because she is obviously unable to turn her back on him. Ex-wife Cindy Beale strikes up a conversation with her after shoving her out of the pub, and she later begs George to talk to his mother, but he's determined that she stay away. Gloria collapses in the hallway outside the courthouse during a heated exchange, and she is taken to the hospital immediately after having a heart attack. Feeling terrible all the time, Phil Mitchell persuades George to make apologies before it's too late, and he goes to her bedside to remember his early years. Spoilers for EastEnders, sad Lauren Branning is teased about a new relationship, but she isn't into it. Lauren Branning of EastEnders might be getting into a new relationship, but she's not exactly excited about the idea. Lauren has had a lot of drama since moving back to Albert Square. Originally, she was detained for bringing narcotics into the UK, but when her cousin Penny confessed, she was immediately freed. She later learned that Annie, the daughter of Linda Carter, was actually her half-sister, and more recently, she was approached by Zach Hudson, the boyfriend of her best friend. 
her relationship with Peter Beale has been, to put it mildly, difficult in the midst of all of that. Peter was eager to move forward, but Lauren suggested that they stay friends for the benefit of their kid Louis, which upset Peter. But in later scenes, Lauren is the one who is let down when Peter tells her that he has a date night and can't attend the 30th birthday party Penny is encouraging her to throw. The thought of celebrating Lauren's birthday bothers her even more, especially because Peter won't be present. As Lauren's birthday approaches, Penny makes an effort to lift her spirits. After determining that making Peter jealous is the best course of action, she starts creating Lauren's dating profile. Will it succeed, and how will Lauren respond? With Karen Taylor's return, EastEnders predicts more trouble for the six. Will someone discover them? As Karen Taylor returns to EastEnders to look into Keanu Taylor's whereabouts, the six are in more jeopardy. The group has been having difficulty keeping up with the police's investigation into Keanu's death on Christmas Day for the past three weeks. The six unintentionally ran the risk of being caught when they concealed Keanu's body beneath the cafe floorboards, having been coerced into giving Nish control over Suki's company in exchange for him remaining silent. After Rocky set the diner on fire last year, Nish is moving forward with plans to reopen it, which has caused Denise Fox to further fall apart. On opening day, though, Nish found there was a leak and the floor would have to be totally replaced. After hearing Nish gripe to Kat about the repair, Kathy and Stacy called Denise and Linda to another private discussion at number 31. While Kathy urged the group to think logically about potential ways to hold off Nish, Denise was certain that she would fall because her ID and necklace was buried with Keanu. Denise said, You guys, you better not throw me to the wolves. Breaking down, Linda was going through her own crisis, warning the others that Keanu's family might soon find out they'd lost him for good. Keanu is the man I killed, Linda said. The six's only choice, Stacy emphasized, was to stick to the story they'd given the police. They had to see this through as a group, so she urged Linda to be strong. Bernie, Keanu's sister, fortunately turned out to be an unexpected ally for the women, as she was able to locate a plumber who could readily resolve the cafe's problems without damaging the floor. Eventually, Kathy would inform the other six members that there was no longer a direct chance that Keanu's body would be found. Suki clarified just as Denise declared she was going to turn herself in, saying, they're not digging up the floor, Denise. We're all heading to the anticipated inauguration of the cafe. Even yet, the cafe launch would be a complete fiasco when Nish furiously activated Bernie after her phone inadvertently played a potentially incriminating voicemail from Keanu. Keanu's tirade about Sharon screwing with I his head was audible to the people living in Albert Square even before Christmas Day. Nish attempted to take Bernie's phone and gave her the command to inform him where her brother ran away. Given the antiquity of the communication, Bernie attempted to clarify that she had no idea where Keanu had disappeared. Before Nish and Phil could get any further, they were arguing about Keanu's departure when Karen Taylor abruptly reappeared. As Linda watched in terror, Karen broke the stunning news to everyone in the square that Keanu had not shown up for their scheduled escape. I need to know, where is my son? Karen made a demand. Will Karen find out what's really going on? Please subscribe our channel.